Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Mohamed Haidar and I will be showing you how you can import VEX files into IDWave database. VEX files are files developed by RF vendors in order to help you import their components characteristics into IBWave database. So to start, make sure you have your IBWave design open and navigate to network design. Then from there, click on database editor all right and it's important to note that uh, your ib wave database and your ib wave design should both be the same version takes a few seconds for the database window to pop up all right uh, now that since the database uh, window is open uh, let's use the browser and go to components.ibwave.com um, as a licensed ibwave user you can sign up for an account with ibwave and uh, and in the case uh, you you're not an ibwave licensed user you can contact the rf vendor of interest to request the vex files of your component usually from my experience vendors uh, have been uh, friendly and they can provide you such files uh, let's put in your username and password, sign in. Once you're in, you can search for your component model under model, uh, or select the vendor from the left and narrow down your search by choosing a category and a subcategory. In our case, I'm gonna go ahead and choose Aerohive. Uh, I'm interested in all the components, so I will choose any click on search um, scroll down if you look if you like to see the attributes of each component type of connectors uh, frequency band losses uh, when you're done uh, you can click on download public vex file make sure you accept the privacy system the best practice would be to save all your VEX files in one location. Click on save. Switching back to the database. When the file is downloaded, uh, go to File, Import, Legacy Import. Select the downloaded file. Uh, note that you can select multiple files if you wish. Uh, for this case, I'm going to choose only the downloaded files. Click Open. Make sure you click Yes. This window shows you all the components in the VEX file. You may choose to certain files to import and others not to import. We will go ahead and import all of them. Click OK. Then a critical step that many designers forget about. Once those components are added in your database window here, Make sure to go to File and Save. This will save all the files in your database. Once saved, click on Sync. Now your database, all the important components in your database are synced with IBWave Design. Finally, I hope you find this video helpful. Feel free to reach out in case you have any questions. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe to my channel to encourage me to do more wireless videos. Thank you for watching.